lovely Lakers. Welcome to our warmest February. Today we've got the details of Spirit Week and so much more. Let's get started. Project Success has many upcoming college tours to the University of Minnesota and University of Wisconsin Stout. Scan the QR code to register. Check out this message from the CCC. What's on the Google Classroom? Well, there's a lot of materials on here. There's community resources, international baccalaureate resources, graduation corner resources, social emotional learning and self-care resources, and college and career readiness. Um, staying up to date on important events, but also staying up with your mental health. And yeah. Yup. Yep. Our club wants you to know that they are meeting every Wednesday in room N144 with Ms. McDonald's. If you haven't yet, make sure you take the YPE survey. Remember to get your ballogram. Ah. Virtual conferences will be held on February 20. Parents can sign up through my conferences from 8 to 4 p.m. In-person conferences will be February 21st at 4 to 8 p.m. Fair week has arrived. So Monday is going to be PJ day, Tuesday is going to be dress as your type, Wednesday we wear pink, Thursday is jersey day, and Friday is your class colors. We got a lot to celebrate on Friday with our Black History Showcase and Winter Formal. Winter Formal is Valentine theme. Thank you to all students and families for making our community alive with service, creativity, and friendships. Students have been preparing for the school musical. Pippin opens Thursday, March 14th, and runs through March 24th. Shows are every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with 7 p.m. start times Thursday through Saturday and 2 p.m. performances on Sundays. Southwest Business for the Youth initiated a donation drive back in December. They collected from students and family, then during December to January, members from the club went to refugee family homes and dropped off gift stockings to make their holidays better. The songwriting classes have been working hard and had a performance on February 7th. Check out this footage from their concert. Performing arts students help raise money for the performing arts department at the Hot Notes Gala. Now let's hear how sports are doing. Welcome to Lakers Sports. I'm Evo. And I'm Nick. First up, gymnastics and their last conference meet this past Saturday. Here they won the city conference. Congratulations, Southwest Gymnastics. This Saturday is the first round of sections and Hopkins. Congrats to all the skiers that raced at Varsity Section Championships on Tuesday, February 6th at Elm Creek in Maple Grove. It was a great day of racing with challenging spring-like conditions. Firm tracks in the morning for classic, but slurpy-like conditions in the afternoon for the freestyle skate races. The girls team placed third overall. Congratulations to Zoe Sumner, Ella Mikoski, Anatalia Graham, Allie Moran, Tessa Dahlquist, Nora Dietz, Kira Bell, and Hazel Hansen. The boys team placed seventh overall. Congratulations Sam Scott, Henris Engstrom, Riley Cox, Olin Riley, Keenan Moriarty, Miles Nemes, Rowan Reddy, and Cato Graham. Two of our skiers will be going to the state meet at Giants Ridge. Zoe Sumner and Sam Scott qualified for the MN state meet in the individual pursuit race. Action ski races February 7th, Southwest Girls, Leah Ralph, Lucy Renz, Eva Boyakin, Ingrid Hartzell, Avery Patterson, and Mila Boyakin for run. And alternate for Southwest are Julie, Maurice, and Reese Brothers who got second place overall. Parker Hunt got 15th individually. Eva Boykin got 2nd individually. Leah Rolf got 5th individually. And Lucy Renz got 6th individually. State will take place at Giants Ridge on February 13th. 
Liam Farniak has Minneapolis Southwest boys basketball all-time scoring record. Nice work, Liam. Southwest boys basketball beat Edison 98-78 on February 7th. Birthday boy Liam Farniak dropped 50 points at that game. Vance and Smith had the most rebounds. The JV and freshman teams also won their games against Edison. The next game is tonight against Henry at Henry. Girls basketball won against Washburn 71 to 53 on February 1st. Thanks to all to, who came up to support their next game is tomorrow against Henry. Congratulations Southwest Laker cheer team with an amazing season winning first, second, third place at the Kelm with Eastview, Farmington, Edina, and so many more. Back, Back to you Lakers. Lakers. You know, I am so curious. Um, let's hear how students are faring with course registration. Hi, my name is Mustafa and I'm interviewing. Dahlia and Kate. How are you guys doing today? Pretty good. good. How are you? Good, thank you. Uh, was that like the fair helpful for you guys? It gave good information. Yeah. Uh, do you guys know what to do for registration? Um, I mean, we just filled no, out a paper. Like a but yellow like, car, but I didn't yeah. do it. But. All right. Come on. How are you doing today, Abdul? Come on. You're doing good. Hey. Right, good to hear, bro. Was that looked very helpful for you last week? Yeah, yeah. You enjoyed it? Yeah, I enjoyed it. I got to see a lot of, a lot of potential opportunities. Do you know what to do for registration? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I didn't really make my decision. Yet, so. yeah. Got the rest of the month for that. Hi, my name is Mustafa, and I'm interviewing. How you doing? I'm Mr. Wilson. Right. I'm school counselor. School counselor. Uh, how you doing today, Mr. Wilson? I'm doing good. How about you, man? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Yeah, no problem. No problem. What do students do for registration? All right. So during registration, all right, uh, for the month of February, we're having students come down to the CCC, and they will be able to uh, uh, meet with their counselors as well as hear a presentation that will kind of explain, you know, this whole process, like why we choose our classes what you should be taking. You also meet with your counselor um, one at a time to kind of make sure you're on track to graduate. So also with that, what happens is um, each week we kind of meet with, with a new grade. So 11th grade is the first week, then we have 10th grade, then 9th grade, so they all have their own time with their counselor. Mm -hmm. So what happens if a student missed the elective fair? So if a kid missed the elective fair, pretty much um, no worry, no hassle. Just um, when you come down to the CCC, you will then meet with your, with your counselor, you'll kind of review all the electives, and then pick from there. But then also, too, keep in mind that um, you have the whole month of February to make your mind up with what you want to do for, for electives and classes as well. So, if you, so even though you missed last week, whenever it happened, just know that you have time to still change your mind. Yeah. Thanks for the hope, students. Have a nice day. No problem. You too. You too. Well, that's it for the news. Hope you enjoy Spirit Week and the Black History Showcase and dance. Way to stay engaged, Lakers. Till next time. Goodbye with all our Laker love.